Welcome back to Our Weird World, where we dive into the strangest, the creepiest, and the most fascinating aspects of global folklore and urban legends. Today, we're uncovering the dark and mysterious Three Kings ritual. This intricate and eerie ritual is designed to allow participants to explore the subconscious minds and potentially communicate with otherworldly entities. We'll delve into the origins of this unsettling game, its impact on pop culture, the precise steps to perform the ritual, the terrifying consequences of failure, and the so-called benefits of successfully completing it. First, let's explore the history and origins of the Three Kings ritual. This ritual is a modern urban legend with roots in various forms of scrying and mirror gazing practices used throughout history. These practices often involve looking into reflective surfaces to gain insight or communicate with the supernatural. The exact origins of the Three Kings ritual are unclear, but has been popularized through internet forums and creepypasta stories, capturing the imaginations of thrill seekers and paranormal enthusiasts alike. The ritual gained traction online, particularly in the 2010s, through detailed guides and first-hand accounts shared on platforms like Reddit and paranormal blogs. Its appeal lies in the elaborate setup and the psychological tension it creates, blending elements of self-reflection and supernatural exploration. The Three Kings ritual has left a significant mark on pop culture, especially within the realms of horror and paranormal content. Numerous YouTube channels have featured the ritual, with creators documenting their attempts and reactions. These videos often garner millions of views, highlighting the public's fascination with the unknown. In horror movies and TV shows, the ritual is sometimes referenced or used as a plot device to introduce supernatural elements. The intricate setup and the tension it creates make it a compelling narrative tool. One notable example is the movie Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, where similar rituals are used to connect with spirits and uncover hidden truths. The blending of ritualistic elements with modern storytelling captivates audiences, keeping the legend alive and relevant. Now, let's break down how to perform the Three Kings ritual. As always, we advise caution and remind viewers that engaging in such activities can have unexpected consequences. Step 1. Preparation You'll need a quiet, dark room, preferably without windows. If there are windows, cover them completely. Gather the following items. Three chairs, two large mirrors, a candle, a lighter or matches, a bucket of water, a mug, and an alarm clock. Step two, setting up. Place one chair in the center of the room facing north. This is the throne. Place the other two chairs on either side of the throne facing each other. These are the queen and the fool. Position the mirrors on the queen and the fool chairs so that when you sit on the throne, you can see your reflection in both mirrors out of your peripheral vision. Step 3. The Invocation Place the candle in front of the throne within arm's reach and light it. Place the bucket of water and the mug near the throne, close enough to use in an emergency. Set your alarm clock for 3.30 a.m. At 3.30 a.m., you should be seated on the throne, holding the lit candle and ready to begin the ritual. Step 4. The Ritual At 3.33 a.m., the ritual begins. Avoid looking directly into the mirrors. Instead, focus on the darkness ahead. You may start to feel a presence or hear voices. These are said to be the kings who will answer your questions and reveal hidden truths. You can ask questions but remain respectful and composed. Step 5. Ending the Ritual the ritual ends at 4.34 a.m. or sooner if you feel threatened. If you need to end the ritual early, use the bucket of water to extinguish the candle. Ensure you leave the room without glancing in the mirrors. It's crucial to break the setup in the morning by disassembling everything immediately. Let's discuss the potential consequences if you fail to end the ritual properly or disrespect the process. If you fail to follow steps correctly or show disrespect, the consequences can be severe. Participants have reported experiencing prolonged feelings of unease, seeing shadowy figures, or having nightmares. Some accounts suggest that failing to end the ritual properly can invite unwanted spirits into your life. The most extreme consequences include psychological distress, paranoia, and a persistent feeling of being watched. These outcomes highlight the importance of following the ritual's guidelines meticulously. So, what are the benefits of you successfully complete the Three Kings ritual? Successful completion of the ritual is said to grant you deep insight into your subconscious mind and hidden truths about your life. Some believe it can provide answers to pressing questions or unresolved issues, offering a unique form of introspection. However, 
and the primary benefit is the thrill and challenge of having navigated a complex and potentially dangerous ritual. It's a test of mental fortitude and respect for the unknown, rather than any means to a tangible reward. In conclusion, the Three Kings Ritual is a modern legend that combines elements of ancient scrying practices with psychological exploration. Its intricate setup and the tension it creates make it both compelling and risky. While the ritual itself is fascinating, the potential consequences are severe and should not be taken lightly. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only. We do not endorse or recommend attempting this or any other paranormal rituals. The risks are real and the consequences can be dire. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Three Kings ritual, please like, share, and subscribe for more eerie explorations of our weird world. Have you heard of any other spooky games or urban legends you'd like us to cover? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this unsettling journey. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.